phone call. It was amazing. Guys, I got to get ready in my own house today. In the 10 or so years that I've been doing this, I've never gotten ready in my own house. This is amazing. I'd like to come back, please. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Yeah? That was a very reserved answer. I feel like you guys need to do some more drinking. And then the next time I ask, I expect more enthusiasm. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Does everybody have a at least one drink in front of them? Yeah. Good. This one's called Drink.
guys have seen us play before. Show of hands. Well, hello, old friends. And that means that all, you are, all the rest of you are brand new, so hello, new friends. It is a pleasure to meet you. My name is Katie. I'll introduce you to these rowdy, rowdy folks up here in just a minute. But we're going to play one that you might actually know. Do we have any Cheryl Crow fans in the house? Ooh. I got to announce this week that I'm playing on the same lineup as Cheryl Crow. Ooh. 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 Kind of losing my mind about it. Because uh, she's who I want to be when I grow up. So I'm very excited. I need an eye. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to play one of hers right now, and if you know the words, please sing along as loud as you can.
just a little bit. So I gave her my bass to play, now she's broken my bass.
they play this on stage to get a drink. You can go away now. <laughs> That's Steve back there on the drums. Steve! 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 And over here, letting me borrow his beautiful bass. This is Martin, everyone. Yeah. I'm very sorry for pretending or telling everyone that you broke my bass when it was actually incompetence on my part. That's Please fine, forgive Martin. me. I'll forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll get you a drink again. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm going to keep over here. We have Gab on the guitar. Everybody say hi, Gab. Woo! Hi, Gab. <laughs> that was the response I was after. <laughs> stage for a little bit, we're going to play some songs acoustic for you if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Like pass the parcel. <laughs> Instrument. Uh, well, you can tune my guitar. I don't tune it, so you can do that. <laughs> um, has anybody noticed me smacking my face into the mic stand at one point just then? No. No, you didn't. No, um, never. I had a wisdom tooth out recently. It really hurt. <laughs> I'm having to go and get dental work done because I keep smacking my face on the mic. No. Not my wisdom tooth, no, but some of you may have seen uh, who, who've been to previous gigs. I've had like a big foam <coughs> pad. I've graduated to using my microphone like a real person now. <laughs> um, and then I just went and immediately smacked my face back into it again today. <laughs> so, go me, spatial awareness. One. <laughs> Okay. So Gav and I have been writing songs together now since 2016. It's a long time. It feels like several lifetimes. And uh, this next song we wrote backstage uh, in a venue in London which doesn't exist anymore. A place called The Borderline. Um, we were asked to open for a wonderful gentleman, a musician named Mac McAnally who in the country music world is uh, a music legend. He's, he's a musician of the year a whole bunch of times, and he asked us to open, and I missed the whole show because Gav and I were sat in the back room writing this song. And uh, we figured we'd play it for you now, because normally we don't get to, but this room is so beautiful, we figured we needed to have a little calm section, you know? Anyway, this is Nat Shady.
Watching me drink. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna play one by myself if that's okay. Mm. First things first, I'm melting. So, normally, Gab and I write pretty much everything together, and sometimes it starts in dressing room. Sometimes it starts in sound check. Sometimes the ideas pop into our head and we pull over while we're driving to a show or from a show. But occasionally, I sit down and write by myself. Martin, where's my cap I've gone? It's on the up. That's where cap is, live now. I'm a drunk. Thank you very much, boys. Um, <laughs> sorry, Martin. I didn't mean to blame you. It's just... Um, no, I'm super lucky I get to play with these wonderful folks. Uh, we've been playing together, well, Gavin, Steve and I have been playing together now for about seven years. Martin joined us a couple years ago, I think. Yeah, ish. Feels like longer, honestly. That's, no, it's all good. It's probably my fault. Um, but anyway, the one thing, being a songwriter, uh, it basically means that you're depressed a lot. Um, especially if you choose to go independent music route. Uh, and it's not a bad thing, because without those lows, you wouldn't, A, be able to appreciate nights like tonight, where people actually show up, which is amazing. Thank you all for coming. Um, but you also wouldn't have stories to tell. You wouldn't have, you know, sad country songs to write. And um, being a sad country singer, I wrote one one evening when I was feeling very much in my feels, as the youth say. Um, I'm not cool enough to pull that off, I don't think. No. I don't think I can get away with it. It didn't seem natural, did it? No. no. Okay. Well, I tried. So, uh, anyway, this is one that I wrote about the 
lovely people in my life who love me even though I am a chaotic mess. <laughs> so this I'm going to dedicate this to my lovely band who haven't left me yet. <laughs>
Yeah. Tell it in double speed. A couple years ago, we decided to film our very first music video, and we did the only thing you can do when you're an aspiring country singer. We filmed a western. So we decided we would drive out to the middle of the desert in Spain, where they filmed the good, the bad, and the ugly, because the boys found out I'd never seen it. We would film our very own western. And Steve back here, I don't know if you guys saw outside, has a very obnoxious jeep. Yeah? Sadiq hates me. <laughs> he used to have another jeep, but we killed that one. And um, we took his old jeep out to the middle of the desert in Spain. We thought, how hard can it be? Turns out there's a lot you need to know. Does anybody else in here drive a jeep? No? Good. Because we needed two vehicles to get there. And my dad happened to own a jeep at that time. And I begged him for months to let me take that car. And I did. And uh, we discovered that Jeeps don't actually make very good off-road vehicles. If you drive them 2,000 miles away to the middle of the desert and then film a music video with them. And we needed a police escort to come home. That Jeep did not survive the journey. So I have a huge favor to ask you guys this evening, and this is a true story, and you can check it online if you want to. But I really need you guys to buy some CDs and some t-shirts, because I now owe my dad a Jeep. This is right now.
coming along this evening to my new local. I do love it here already. It has truly been a pleasure. Give it up one more time, please, for Martin on the bass. For Steve on the drums. And for Gail on the guitar. And for Kate on the vocals. We have one more song, if that's okay. This is my current single, although I probably shouldn't say that because it came out last year. That's on me, I know. I'll put something new out soon. Okay, I've got a current girlfriend that I've been going out with for five years. Fiance now. Like current. Oh. Oh, child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, this is my current single. It's called What Have You Got to Lose? And this is uh Well, I don't really know what to say about it anymore. It's out there. Please <laughs> listen to it. Um if you guys are on any of the social media platforms, you know what to do already. If you're not, then it's probably for the best. But if you want to join them, you can find me on there. My name is Katie Hurt, and it's Katie with a Y, Hurt like the injury, and this is What Have You Got To Lose. You could lock me out in the pouring rain and drag the mud to my name. Take the blood from my veins and drop me insane, but I'd still love you. You could tell me that you need your space, and time to make some big mistakes. And I could lose all my faith, but I know I won't break, but I'll still love you.
Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Casey Hayes. I hear fans. things were happening in my life at the same time. I was falling in love for the very first time, and I lost someone for the very first time. And both of those feelings have one very common thing, and that's time. Because all I wanted was more time with those people. I feel the very same way about you guys right now, because I really do wish we could just keep doing this all night long. And for that very reason, you guys are my unfinished business. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you'll have us back sometime. Second drawer in my desk to the right of my bed Is a letter that I started Halfway down the page, all the ink spilled again Guess the secrets remain guarded there is a book on a nightstand, I'm ten pages in The spine's already been broken Yeah, the end is a moon, but it's written in stone So I ain't losing sleep Yes, I can live with all those things being incomplete But you feel like a Thank you. 
really quick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to end on a sad song. I want you guys to remember this as being a happy experience. So we gotta play something quick. <laughs> okay. So I now know that you guys can sing. You guys sing along. How about dancing? How's that? Is that too much? What if it, what if I told you you could do this from your seats? Better? Let's give it a go. How many of you are feeling like you're a beginner dancer? Raise your hand if you think you're a beginner. Oh my god, you're all advanced. This is gonna be so good! Thank you.